everyone, my name is Emma and in today's video we will cover how to use the project tracker. The project tracker allows you and your team to keep all of your products and services organised and updated, ensuring everyone stays on track of the project. To access the project tracker, click into your project and select project tracker on your left hand navigation bar. Here you'll be able to see all of the items that have been specified in your project and have been uploaded into the project tracker. Any items you add into your documents or have assigned to your project through the product clipper are automatically added into your project tracker. Each item has many columns such as quantities, specifications, shipping details, shipping costs and delivery dates and more. These will auto populate as you go through the life cycle of your project through your documents. To customise your columns in the top right, click the three vertical bars to toggle on and off what you want to see. You can even create a new column by clicking on create new column, typing in a title and hitting enter to submit that through. By default that will add into the very end column of your project tracker but what you'll be able to do is click on the three or six dots on the very far left of the title and drag it to the top of the list if you feel it takes priority and it's the first thing that you want to see. With your custom columns, you'll also be able to delete them by clicking on the trash can icon and removing it from your project tracker. One thing to keep in mind is if you enter in a new column in one project, they will add across all of your projects. So this just ensures that any important bits of information that's important to your project procurement is always ready to go in any project you create. You can also add an item. To do this, click on add in the top right hand corner and here you'll be able to see a sidebar with your library of all of your products and services where you can go through and use the search bar to type in what you're after or you can use the filters that are located at the top as well. So you can organise by certain suppliers, certain categories, and that'll filter all of your views you're looking at here. You'll also be able to group by supplier, sort by newest or alphabetical order as well. What you can also do is click on an item and that'll show you a 360 degree view of everything about this product so far. You can see which documents the item is in on. And some fields here are auto filled. For example, general details are mostly information that's been added in from the product clipper. Financials are all the financial details on this product. Schedules are delivery dates. Addresses are billing and shipping addresses. And any additional info. So if you have created a custom column, this is your opportunity here to add in any kind of notes. Once you hit enter, that will then go ahead and update your changes and you'll be able to see that reflected in your project tracker. You'll also be able to see at the very top left of your product, the latest approval. So here we've got it approved, but you can always check the status at the very top here as well. Another functionality is the ability to edit multiple items at once. What you can do is tick the items of the boxes you want, click on edit in the top right hand corner and add in any information like shipping dates, room specifications, any uh, custom fields you can come in and edit those from here, add on any existing notes as well as toggle it from an assignee within your team. Once you've made those edits, click on save and they'll update in your project tracker. Another important feature is the connected documents column. So this shows you all of the items and where they belong on which documents. So if you really quickly want to come in and have a look at the document link, you can click in and that'll navigate you straight through to that document. You can even export your project tracker. You can do this by clicking export in the top right and export your project tracker into an Excel document, a PDF schedule, or a spec sheet with or without pricing. Once you go ahead and click in, you'll be able to customize the name and depending on the document, 
be able to customize what information you want exported. For example, perhaps we don't want any financial information at this point, we can simply tick each box and navigate through here, click on download, and anything that you export will be emailed to your email address. So go ahead and get started by managing all of your products and services with the House Pro Project Tracker. Thank you for watching.